Hi guys, welcome to the second instalment of the bed cleaning routine that I'm about to show you. In this section, we are gonna be stripping the bed down and I'm gonna be showing you some tips, that's Hayley's tips, on how to make your bedding smell incredible and the best way to wash your sheets as well. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is taking all of this off the bed. to my first hip. Those of you that follow me on Facebook would have seen this a couple of weeks ago. I posted about these, your duvet covers. These are super duper handy. My husband actually taught me this in an ironic way because he was bringing the washing up for me. He stuffed it all into one of these, which was a duvet cover, a clean one that I just washed. And as I witnessed him, launch it over his shoulder like Father Christmas and carry it up the stairs. To begin with, I was like, babe, what are you doing? But now I'm, I do it all the time. It's like my one thing that I do. So this is the first tip. When you've got a load of bedding, I tend to do mine all in one go. So the children's bed sheets will come off as well. The best thing to do is with the dirty, one big duvet, dirty duvet cover, what you wanna do is put all of the other stuff within this. This just makes it easier to take down stairs to your laundry area. And also, it kind of stops that annoying thing of, you know, when stuff like fall, either falls out of your hands or, and then you've gotta go back up again. This puts it all into one great big sack, if you like. And it just makes it easier as well. If you're going out for the day, say, and you can't put the washing on there and then, then you can come back and um, do it later. And it just doesn't look like a whole swarm of like towels or bedding in one place. It's all then compacted into one thing and it kind of just looks like a bean bag, really. So that is how you're gonna take it downstairs. Merry Christmas. <laughs> guys what we're going to do is load up the washing machine i am going to be using these today they are the persil jewel capsules um i've got these because like i say to you guys all the time if something is on offer i do like it and these were dis um discounted in waitrose so i got those they were like four pounds fifty for this big pack um, and then I'm going to be using the blue flavour and tea tree oil. But first things first, we're going to load up the actual machine itself. So my machine is a 13 kilogram machine. Um, so just check the weight on your machines. Obviously, you'll know how much you can and can't fit in your machine. So not all of this will be able to go in here. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do two loads because it's all quite heavy stuff. So this one will go in separately, this big um, sheet here, but that's fine. So that's the main bulk of the bedding within the machine. Now, here is my next tip for you. When you put the cycle on, I have already done a vlog about this, add a few drops of tea tree oil. I did this um, a little while ago and my bedding smells so, so good. What the tea tree oil does is it takes away any kind of bad odours and then that lets the blue flavour work at its best and your washing will smell an absolute dream. I have got another hip coming up for you as well. If you choose not to use the tea tree oil and I use it anyway alongside this just to give it that extra Haley's help bonus. So this is gonna go on the hottest wash. On my machine, the hottest wash is the baby wash, which is a 60 degree. Um, so I'm going to turn it on that now, and I'm going to add the blue flavour into the drawer. And we're going to let that whirl, and then I'll see you again in a sec. Well, not a second, but once it's done its full cycle, and we can press on to the next bit. Now, 
my next hip, once your washing has done a full cycle, you're going to take it out and you need to lay it over something. So it's quite wet outside today, so I'm not going to use the line, but you can use your washing line, you can use errors. For this, I'm going to be using literally just two chairs from my dining table. And you're going to need my um, DIY fabric spray. So I've done this in an earlier video. Just to recap for those of you that are new here though, it is literally an empty spray bottle. And then it's blue flavour fabric softener, but you can use whatever flavour you like. We just all seem to like the blue flavour here. Or I do, and I'm kind of thrusting it upon everyone else. <laughs> And you're literally just going to fill the spray bottle up, a bit with the blue flavour, and then the rest with water. And then once you've taken your sheets out, so this is my mattress topper, um, and I'm literally just going to spray that with my fabric softener solution. This is just going to give it an extra blue flavour burst for when it goes through my tumble dryer, and this really, really does make it smell super duper strong so those of you that love the smell of the blue flavour fabric softener or whatever flavour you use this is a really good hit for you to do before you put your sheets through the tumble dryer or on the line if you hang them on a line or an error do exactly the same but just then obviously leave them there then this is going to go through into my laundry room which is where my tumble dryer is based but I'm going to do the rest of the sheets first, so I'm going to just pop this in there now before I bring you all in here with me, so bear with it. sheets you can check those out in an earlier video if you haven't already seen them and we're just going to pop one of these within the machine and this is going to go on the reason I like to use the tumble dryer is heat notoriously kills bed bugs so should there ever be any bed bugs within your sheets blasting it through the tumble dryer just gives it that extra layer of zappiness you know to zap them just in case the machine failed you've then got the tumble dryer as a fallback. So I'm gonna pop one of these within the machine. All you need to do is just make sure you squeeze it out first. You don't wanna put it in soaking, soaking wet. And these last quite a while. I have spoken about this obviously in one of my early videos. And that can go in and then that can be reused again once the washing comes out dry, it can go back in to the fabric softener pot to be used another day. And there we go. Now we have to wait for this to finish. And then I'm going to show you another hip for putting your bedding on. your bedroom this also works well if you've just got like your clothes as well so just fill up like a duvet cover it works exactly the same um, what you're going to want to do is we're going to start with the base which is my mattress protector so that's going to go on first oh Jesus where's it gone here it is um, so this is going to be the first thing that is going to go on to the bed and then I will press through all the different stages with you guys in a second. And these can go to one side for now. Okay, next 
Next, I'm going to put the sheet on, on top of the mattress protector. Right, now we are going to move on to putting the actual duvet cover itself back onto the duvet. And for that, you just want to literally turn your duvet cover inside out. So you'll be able to see, you'll have like the, um, where it's been stitched together, you'll be able to see that. So you'll know it's inside out, or if you've got a pattern on it, you'll see that the pattern isn't showing any longer. And literally just take the two corners, so you kind of look like this. If you want an early Halloween costume, here it is guys. Feel free to take this, put some blood on it. If you can't get it out at the end, then I won't take any liability for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> and grab both corners of your duvet with the um, duvet cover as well. So you're kind of holding them like that. And then just shake it on. Like so. And then push the other two ends into the other corners here. Like this. And then you can go ahead and button it up and that is your duvet cover on and done. It takes like seconds. Right guys, what I like to do at this stage is tuck the actual duvet cover itself in really, really tightly down the sides of the bed. What this does is, it stops it from being so creased, and you might have already noticed, I haven't ironed my bed sheets, because I'm gonna show you another hip in a second. Um, but I tuck them in because it pulls out any creases, and also, I just prefer the look of it. I just like it when it's quite, um, we spoke about this last time, you know what I mean. I like it when it's tight, down the sides of the mattress. So you're gonna do both sides, end just give it a little tug just to flatten it out even more and now I'm literally going to pop the pillowcases onto the pillows and then we're going to move on to the final stage of the bed making my bed making shebang thing. I've turned the lights on because as you can see it's got dark now because it is pressing onto evening time now. Anyway, the final part of my bed making is this steamer here which is gonna get all the creases out. It just saves me time in terms of having to iron them. I just find it easier to do it this way. You guys might find it easier another way but this is how I do my bed sheets. Um, and also a really good thing about steam is bed bugs do not like it. They don't like anything hot, which is why I've discussed with you the tumble dryer, putting it on a hot wash in the machine, and now we're gonna move on to this. So this machine here that I am gonna be using for my bed is super swift because it gets all the creases out, but it also, with the blast of steam, it then continues. If there are any bed bugs, I mean, God forbid there's any left now. The whole process we've been through We'd be lucky if there's even like an ant that survived it. Never mind a bed bug. So, um, and all I do is literally just pull it along the actual bed itself, and the it gets all the creases out of the bed. It's really, really, really handy. This little gadget. I do enjoy using it a great deal.
see, and as you can see, if I just like do a line here, you can see compared to the bits that I haven't done, it takes out the creases. If you have, don't forget to click the like button, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell which will turn on the notifications and I will be back again, same time, same place, next time you